First day, you are very welcome to this uh, cooperative uh, program. This is the very starting of the MOOC in Thailand, and also actually is go to the international level now. And we are very pleased that you come to visit us and have a, a great project on the collaboration. And especially for those who come from Japan and Korea, this time is more you feel more like the at home because all the time we feel very cold. Uh, then we are very late. We should like starting and just like welcome you all are very success on this program and on the meeting. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, advisor to Thailand Cyber University, Dr. Chavalet Le Charolan. From now, please allow me to introduce the program, this today program, to all of you. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, if, if you don't mind, could we start by introducing ourselves to each other? Maybe it's a good start for know each other before we starting to work together along the full day. Okay, uh, let me start from... Uh, Starting from you. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Anuchai Thirarun Chaisi. I am the Deputy Director of Thailand Cyber University Project. Thank you. Chawala um, Lachololan, um, advisor to the Thailand Cyber University. I'm um, retired from Chulalongkorn University. <laughs> Hello, uh, everybody. My name is Anirudh Satiman. I work for Thai Cyber University and, and Silapakon University, Bangkok, Thailand. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Yoshimi Fukuhara from Japan JMUK. Uh, please call me in just Yoshimi. Uh, I'm very, very happy to be, be back here. <laughs> very nice uh, uh, city in Bangkok. <coughs> I love this city, and I love uh, the uh, time also. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the JMOOC's uh, project is a little bit behind, but uh, I, I'm still uh, trying to do our best to uh, follow up you uh, about the, uh, this collaboration work. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, my name is Maho Hakamada. And I'm from Fujitsu Limited, uh, one of the platform provider of JMUK. And now I'm stationed in Japan, uh, in Thailand. Hello, my name is Eun Jong Park. I'm from Jeju National University. Uh, it's the second time to visit Bangkok. Uh, I truly uh, appreciate your welcome service last night. And I'm in charge of uh, the course development of hospitality and tourism. We have been talk uh, each other among three universities and I hope to have a good result from this expert meeting. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Natakan Iam On. I'm the assistant to the president of Mephalon University, and I'm the project manager for the tourism project. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Sukan Kitalakwong from Mephalon University. Good morning, everyone. I'm Silipong Lakmai, vice president for research division from Lusitani College. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pisan Toyduram. You can call me Pisan in short. I am the director for the Center for the Promotion of Thai Cuisine, Lusitani College. Thank you. สวัสดีค่ะ I'm Gina Sumasihilan. Come from the Dusitani College. Nice to meet you. Uh, I work as the my event department. 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Diana Pavlenberger. You can call me Ajan Beck. Um, basically, I'm the Department Head of Hotel Resort Management International Program from the Zitani College, and I'm responsible for the Gastronomy uh, Tourism Management. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chutiwadi Sitaphorn. I'm from the Zitani College. I will take care of uh, mice and event business. Well, thank you. Uh, well, good morning. My name is Kirk Pilom Sopha from the Department of Computer Engineering, Chulalongkorn University. Uh, the head of my department, uh, Professor Nato, is going to join us soon. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody. My name is Pam Wangda, and I'm from Mefalong University. Good morning, everyone. I'm Oranis Salibong. I'm a lecturer of tourism management from Mefalong University. Good morning, everybody. I'm Jira Pa from Mefalong University. I'm a lecturer in tourism management. Good morning. My name is Chataya Yosuan. I am from Mefalong University. I teach tourism and hospitality management. Uh, uh, my name is Jair Kim from Korea. Uh, actually, I work uh, for the Nile uh, uh, National uh, Institute for Lifelong Education in Korea. Uh, I enjoyed uh, the tomorrow morning. I will speak about the uh, uh, academic credit bank system in Korea. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Tess Chung from the Korean University. And I'm here to share some of the experience to uh, co data science course development. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Hun Joo and I'm from National Institute for Lifelong Education, Republic of Korea. And I'm very pleased here to present about uh, four presentations to all of you. Yes, <laughs> it's a quite long time, but uh, I hope you enjoy and enjoy it. Yes, thank you. Sorry. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Timothy Tiu. I'm a distinguished professor from the University of Macau and an associate dean at the Faculty of Education, and I look forward to learning from all of you. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Sorapon Bulu. I'm from King Mungkut University Technology of Thonburi. I'm a lecturer in uh, vocation technology in education. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, uh, now we know each other. So uh, let me start and conduct the meeting in a very uh, not not formal way. Okay. So uh, since uh, March 2017, uh, there is a, a historic uh, event that the National MOOC we have signed a memorandum of understanding to do the MOOC based exchange and co cooperation. So uh, from that time, we have uh, many activity together. Uh, and then uh, today, we will follow up our act activity and our cooperation. The agenda of uh, this today program, today meeting, uh, has the following uh, three agendas. You will have the sheet in your hand. Uh, first is to review the major progress and plan uh, the future collaborative activities among the national MOOC, the three national MOOC. And second, uh, to review the progress and continue, continuing work of the co-developing MOOC series uh, of the partner university in two areas, uh, uh, 
uh, in hospitality and tourism and data science. And then the third, to share and identify the possible way in, in which three national MOOCs can contribute to the development and, and expansion of MOOC beyond Asia Pacific region. The detailed program, we will start this morning in a common session. Uh, we will have a very, uh, uh, we will have our guest, uh, guest presenter from uh, many uh, countries. First, after this session, uh, we will have the session of collaboration report that uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. So, Hei Jo So, Executive Director of KMOOC 9, will and, and Dr. Pravin Yasuwan Natashot will present in this session. This session will uh, explain about our collaboration uh, from March 2017 and also uh, elaborate more on the uh, development of the MOOC course uh, during both, uh, both sides. And then after the first break, uh, Professor Timothy Thiel will share his experience about MOOC research. Uh, to uh, be the example of to be the, the 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 case study that we can learn from his experience, and then after the lunch, uh, we will have lunch in the first floor, and after lunch we will separate into two rooms. In this room, we will have an executive meeting, and then in the room close to this room, we will have uh, the meeting of two. Uh, program, nano degree program in uh, close to this room. And then after uh, today, we will have after the, the meeting in the afternoon, we will have a welcome dinner in this hotel. Yeah, in this hotel. Uh, for tomorrow program, uh, we still have our small group meeting until uh, lunch time. And then after that, all three groups will share uh, his uh, minute of meeting and his uh, their, their discussion uh, in this room. We will learn from each other what we have uh, discussed and what is the summa summary of the, our discussion. Okay, that's all for today's program. Okay, so then shall we start to the first session. Okay, thank you. In this time, I it is honor to us. I would like to invite Dr. Hyun Jo So, the uh, executive director of KMOOC and National Institute of Lifelong Education Learning, to present uh, about um, collaborative activity report and MOOC based exchange and cooperation beyond Asia Pacific region. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big applause for him. Yeah, good morning again to you, all of you. No, at the Yes, the, the first uh, presentation of, uh, the title of my first presentation is uh, Exchange and Cooperation Between JMOOC, uh, KMOOC and TIMOOC. It's progressive progress reports of their collaborative project. Unfortunately, uh, as the Professor Yoshimi mentioned, uh, the JMOOC is a little bit behind our uh, collaborative project between uh, KMOOC and TIMOOC. Yes. I just briefly mentions how, uh, what achievement we have made during the last one year. Next, please. Uh, 
discuss uh, the inception of the collaborative project, our project. Uh, last year, in January 2017, uh, we had a first executive le level uh, workshop among JMOOC, KMOOC, and TIMOOC at this hotel in the same place. <laughs> and of course, with different uh, professors and academic academics Conditions. So at the time, we briefly review our major developments in each national MOOC platforms in terms of quality assurance and MOOC systems and MOOC uh, courses. And then uh, against that background, in March 3rd, uh, between the January and March, uh, in between the January and February, we did uh, a lot of works to work out our MOU between three platforms. So uh, in March 3rd, 2017, uh, at the time, w the Thai MOOC uh, organized the Asia Pacific uh, MOOC Stakeholder Summit in here, right? Yes, S the different floor. <laughs> yes, at the time, uh, uh, as far as I Remember, around 500, yeah, 500 people got together here to celebrate uh, the first uh, Asia Pacific Book Stakeholder Summit and also the MOU between the three national book platforms. So uh, at the time, we signed three national platforms. The president of three national platforms designed the MOU. And then we took a uh, stock of major developments in national MOOCs in Asia Pacific regions in terms of government level, polished level, uh, institutional, uh, that is university level, and uh, the course level. So we shared many good practices at the time. And uh, I, think, I, I think it did uh, help a lot, of, uh, a lot to improve the KMOOC and JMOOC and TIMOOC. And then uh, we, have, we had this kind of uh, opportunity to expand uh, the understanding of necessity of our collaborative project. Uh, KMOOC and TIMOOC had an opportunity to expand and deepen our understanding of based exchange and collaboration through the preparatory uh, as ASEM MOOC and Stakeholders Forum started off with ASEM MOOC Stakeholders Meeting, uh, which took place on 6th of April 2017 in Seoul National University. Uh, at the time, MOOC stakeholders from uh, ASEM region, including Asia Pacific, especially the Thai MOOC, or Malaysia, Mal Malay MOOC, and Indonesia X, and they all uh, got, got together and we talked about the possibility of cooperation in the fields of MOOC. So through the meeting, I uh, have fully recognized the significance of uh, considering the benefits for not only the collaborating countries, but the students in the region for all project. It was widely agreed that providing uh, collaborative MOOCs in areas such as language and culture, and data science, and uh, hospitality and tourism would raise the mutual intercultural understanding among students in the Asia Pacific and Asian regions. After that, uh, in July 2017, uh, we had a second executive, lev executive level workshop here in Bangkok. Uh, at the time, we have a core agenda, possible collaborative project among three MOOC platforms. Uh, JMOOC, KMOOC, and TIMOOC. Uh, at the time, we had uh, reached an ag agreement, this kind of agreement. Uh, the three national MOOC platforms have developed uh, a collaborative project which aims to develop a series of MOOCs in the fields of data science uh, between Chulalongkorn University and Korea University, and hospitality and tourism between Dushitani College and Mephoro, Dushitani College and Jeju National University. And, and then, in, I, I think maybe 
October 2017, Mefarwang uh, Royal University of Th Thailand, uh, in cooperation with Duchitani College, joined the project of developing a MOOC type course in the fields of hospitality and tourism. And major outputs, what achievement we have made until now. As for data science, Chularongkon University and Korea University sign a MOU about a co-development and operation of MOOCs in the area on 20th of November 2017. Uh, they have already finished or been developing three MOOCs. Uh, the Korea University have already finished developing uh, MOOC courses on in the fields of data science. The title of that those course is R, Mathematical Fundamentals of Data Science, and second one is Machine Running for Data Science. And on the other hand, the Chulalongkorn University, uh, I think, is developing uh, a course tentatively, the power of data science or application of data science. So, uh, Korea in the case of Korea University, they already almost finished uh, operating their courses, right? The Professor Chang almost finished, yes. And then they will, I think this month or next month, they will evaluate their uh, learning outcomes. And then, so maybe this year, uh, we can have a chance to share uh, their learning outcome analysis with Chulalongkorn University's faculties and other members, maybe here or in Korea. I so the Korea University, the delegation from Korea University and delegation from Chulalongkorn University, we will, they will talk about that possibility in the afternoon or tomorrow morning. Yes. And as to hospitality and tourism, uh, Jeju National University, Mefarwang University, and Duchitani College have actively been consulting about the topic areas and contents of MOOCs since last July. And also on the 20th of November 27, they signed the historic MOU, formalizing their MOOC-based academic, uh, academic exchange and cooperation between them. Before and since then, they have continued their mutually intensive consultation about the development of MOOCs on hospitality and tourism on working level. Right? Yeah, yes. Um, thank you for your kind attention to our uh, uh, progress reports of a collaborative project. Yes, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Next. Oh, here uh, you're from Chulalongkorn University, yes. Could you introduce yourself? Good morning. Sorry for being late. Uh, my name is Nathut Nupairot. I'm uh, the uh, head of the Department of Computer Engineering at uh, Chulalongkorn University. I also uh, lead the, the uh, MOOC uh, for the data science. Okay. Thank you. And also, uh, the KMOOC, uh, in cooperation with the Ministry of Education in South Korea, uh, last uh, November at Asian uh, Educational Minister meetings, we announced uh, the new initiatives about MOOC in Asian ASEM region, uh, what is called ASEM MOOC initiatives. So, uh, so the title of my second presentation is MOOC-based exchange and cooperation beyond Asia Pacific regions. Uh, so, as in networks of MOOCs uh, initiatives. Uh, this is uh, officially launched last November. On the uh, on the background of the, the cooperation between JMOOC, KMOOC, and TIMOOC. This is a wholly new initiative in ASEM, uh, Asian ASEM regions. So I just want to briefly introduce uh, the what components uh, these initiatives, what components consist of these initiatives. Uh, background, the purpose, and scope of the initiatives. Uh, as you know very well, 
There has been rapid upsurge of MOOC platforms such as Futurun, United Kingdom, and Shuetangx, China, and CN MOOCs, also China, and Chinese MOOCs, China, yeah. and Miriadax, Spain, and JMOOC, Japan, and Indonesia X, Indonesia, and KMOOC, Republic of Korea, and Malaysia MOOC, Malaysia, and Edge Open, Italy, newly opened government platforms, Edge Opens, and Thaimuk, the Kingdom of Thailand, and the last one, Suayam, India, also uh, newly opened government MOOC platforms last year. It, it was open. In order to promote uh, mobility and intercultural understanding based on MOOCs in ASEM regions, the Ministry of Education and National Institute for Lifelong Education, Republic of Korea, we suggested the ASEM network of MOOC initiatives. During the first senior officers meeting, uh, what is called the SOMON, uh, for the sixth ASEM education ministers meeting, which took place in November 2016. And then we have made a lot of efforts to launch these initiatives since then. The initiative has four components. The first one, ASEM MOOC Stakeholders Forum, like this forum. Yeah. And the second, co-development of the ASEM MOOC content. And third, a development of a quality assurance guideline for MOOC contents through an international comparative study of study of existing quality related uh, guidelines. And the last one is the collection of the best practice or good practices on social recognition and usage of MOOCs, learning outcomes, and others. This is a broad and brief introduction to the ASEM MOOC initiatives. So first one, yes, ASEM Book Stakeholders Forum. Maybe this coming May or October, uh, the National Institute for Lifelong Education will invite, uh, I think, some of you <laughs> to Korea. Of course, uh, other delegations from uh, ASEM regions. So maybe last year, as a uh, preparatory meetings. We invited around 25 people, 25 delegations from uh, ASEM regions. So maybe this year, uh, I think the Nile will invite again over uh, 20 uh, delegations uh, who are who specialized in MOOC in terms of like government and uh, university level and course level something like that. Yes. So. ASEM MOOC Stakeholders Forums uh, will be annually hosted and organized by National Institute for Lifelong Education. Uh, aims to offer and as well as serve as an open venue or platform for ASEM MOOC stakeholders to share their information, experience, know-how, and social recognition and usage of MOOC, resulting from the development and operation of MOOCs in their countries. So thereby laying the foundations to deepen and expanding the MOOC-based exchange and uh, corporations. So the, uh, what is the expected output is uh, are we will produce a it's kind of collection of best practices or cases in ASEM regions in terms of program level and institutional level and government levels. Uh, of course, in addition, uh, the stakeholders forum will make and share policy proposals for ASEM educational meetings. The second, uh, yes, and the second component is joint development of ASEM MOOC contents. As I mentioned in the preceding uh, presentations, uh, we have achieved many in this component already. So I just skip this one. And component three will be presented by the professor Proina, just who <laughs> has just arrived here. She will uh, brief uh, about 
uh, quality assurance guideline for MOOCs. In order to enhance the MOOC-based exchange and cooperation, we need to set up kind of uh, standard, but minimum standard for MOOC development and operations. So it will uh, be presented by Professor Provina from Chulon Kun University. Yes. So I skipped this one also. And the last one is publication of best practices of uh, usage and recognition books. Uh, in order to promote book based innovation in higher education in the ASEM region, it is imperative that the useful information, good practices, know hows, and so social recognition and usage of MOOCs resulting from the development and operation of MOOCs in the region should be widely be disseminated and shared and benchmarked in the region. So it, the, this project aims to collect and diffuse, diffuse best practices of social recognition and usage of MOOCs in the regions. So uh, it will produce a collection of good practices and cases in MOOC in terms of, as I mentioned before, the program course level, institutional university level, and government and policy levels. Yes. Um, implement, implement the process. Every year through the ASEM, uh, ASEM MOOC stakeholders forums, we will distribute this kind of standard, standardized uh, template uh, to the participant, participants from the ASEM regions, and then they will uh, present their case on the basis of their, their, that those templates. And then we collect them, and then at the end of the year, we'll publish. Yes, this is uh, it's kind of a lower end responsibility of project per component. Uh, currently, until now, Around 13 countries and two international organizations uh, have showed their intentions to participate in this ASEM MOOC initiatives. Of course, uh, Thai MOOC, also the active members of our initiatives. So here, I suggest the JMOOC to <laughs> participate. Uh, or show your intention to participate uh, in these uh, initiatives in cooperation with uh, Ministry of Education or other government uh, departments, or alone. I think it is possible. Yes, so, yeah. So MOOCs, a change driver for higher education and lifelong learning, as well as a platform for future education and learning. Thank you for my, uh, listening to my presentations. Yes. I think uh, the Professor Prawinia brief first, and then after that I will uh, explain the KMOOCs uh, quality assurance guidelines. Thank, thank you very much, Dr. So, uh, for your very comprehensive and very uh, uh, impressive presentation. As uh, we heard from Dr. So, we, uh, we learned that not only the developing of the, the MOOC course together among national MOOC, we have many activities and opportunities to work together, including expanding the network of our three national MOOC to become ASEM MOOC. ASEM is the Asia Europe meeting. Okay, so we can expand our network more and more. And other opportunity that after we have a uh, MOOC call together, we will have uh, opportunity to do research together, maybe to cross teaching from country to country, and other many, many opportunity. Okay, uh, then uh, I would like to 
go to another to to other sec, to to next sec, section that uh, is a very important section about the guideline and quality assurance. Uh, this is this is the uh, research study from Dr. Pravinya Suvarnathachod and become the guideline and quality assurance of the Thai MOOC. So, uh, please, uh, Dr. Pravinya. Yeah, okay. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you very much for uh, for this section. Um, as I have assigned to uh, develop the guideline for the Thai MOOCs, and then uh, we have worked together like a three MOOCs together, and then we like a based on the ASIM MOOC standard. But uh, as I will like to um, briefly present to you is what we have done for the Thai MOOC first, and then we have um, somehow like uh, we'll develop more uh, research about the minimum or I mean um, a basic standards for us okay for the first thing like uh, as uh, right now we have more providers in the like, country level this is global level and there's a country level we have and then for the ism this will be the country level that we will um, find out some more uh, standards for each country that we that each country had that developed already and let me show something about in Thailand. We since the Thai MOOC um, launched in Thai Thailand last year, now it's got impact to your university. Uh, some universities establish their own uh, university MOOC uh, based on their platform, not on the Thai MOOC platform. Uh, the first one is a uh, uh, Mahidon University. They uh, they call it Mahidon University Extension. But they got the established uh, called Spark, not um, MOOC. So only the university students that can uh, enroll in the platform. But all, whatever, they use the uh, edX platform. And for the Jula MOOC, they have their own platform called Costville platform. And this is an uh, impact from the Thai MOOC. When, since Thai MOOC got uh, launched uh, hundreds of courses, so Jula MOOC, since uh, I mean the, the rector and the administration think that they would like to do something for the society, so they launched Jula MOOC in um, I can't remember the uh, the year, uh, no, the month um, should be in um, August, yes, August last year. And the courses they launched three uh, three courses for each two months. So right now they got around six to eight courses launching. Yeah, and uh, with the for us since we have done the first phase one budget year two thousand seventeen uh, sixteen already, and then we got a uh, Thaimook platform with OpenEdX already, and then the standards and guidelines and we have 10 standards and of practice and we got a uh, hundreds i mean nearly 200 courses on Thai MOOC already so since there the standards come up so uh, I'll, as i told you i mean some the some practices that we have along the way that the standards have developed during the courses that are developed too so for the lead development of the phase three of cost development, the standard have finished. And then, but ha however, what we have done, if we try to give the some practical, uh, practical guidelines along the way of the development cost MOOC of Thai MOOC. So when the phase two of Thai MOOC have uh, right now started, so 10 standards have uh, delivered to all developer to study what have uh, we have in ten standards? For what standard have uh, this is of my coworker that uh, we have developed together, and we have uh, right now ten standard and twenty eight uh, indicators. So what standard involved? We it involved a uh, project manager, instructors, in, instruction re instructor designers, production team, teacher assistant. And uh, we have the uh, separate uh, the MOOC cost de development as a four phases. So this four phases is um, involving standard 
like uh, the first uh, phase is cost development agreement. So this each country co uh, have a different way to uh, set up standard. For us, uh, I mean for the Thai MOOC, the cost development proposal from from the university or the network have to hand to the TCU first. But for other country, I'm not sure for that. We will find out later. But uh, however, the standard for one and two is it means it um, the details of proposal that the what is the con what is the cost uh, content, who is the instructor, and how the readiness of the staff development will be. This is uh, standard number one and two, and the phase two. Um, uh, let me see this first. Okay, and. Uh, for the staff readiness already, TCU will check the, your proposal and staff readiness. But, but for other country, will be somehow um, uh, they will select the instructor by themselves. I mean the superstar uh, instructor, some kind of that. But for us, I mean TCU, they, we hand the proposal to the TCU and TCU will be selected later. And um, the second phase is uh, uh, designing and development. Actually, it should be the one phase, design development is together. But for us in TCU, we separate this um, stage as a two part. The, the first part is you have, uh, I mean, the cost developer have to hand the um, details of cost or somehow the, some kind of script and the storyboard to us and we will check. So this is part include the uh, content, validity, and uh, learning materials, how you design the learning materials. And um, we will check somehow a bit, I mean not check yet, um, to make an understanding about the copyright and creative commons, what to use in the, along the way you develop the course. And somehow after you I mean, the cost developer university already done this. This part if will be the development for the cost developer only. And along the way for this part, uh, when check to, I uh, will then send back to TCU to check the how readiness, or, or how ready you will be move the, your cost from sandbox, I mean, from the uh, sandbox server to the time move. So this part, um, as I compare, and um, not compare when we uh, along the way we develop. We have consultant with the KMOOC and JMOOC. This is the same develop um, process that we have to check on sandbox first, and then we move to uh, the uh, server. I mean the MOOC server. There will be uh, development, and then our staff in the TCU or in the Thai MOOC, we check the learning materials and the copyright creative commons. After this done, have done, the cost implementation the, will be started. It means the operation to the students, to the MOOC students will, will start it. And this part, it will be cover the standard number six is communication, that you have to uh, communicate with the student or uh, communicate among the staff. And the learner sub learning support, it, this part, it depends on the what type of the delivery of the MOOC you will be. Somehow, if you uh, set up as a, as a self-paced learning, will be learning support will be already have designed before, uh, before the before the operation. It means that on the learning support have designed it on the platform already. And uh, but if you um, set up the MOOC course as a instructor lead courses. It means that learning support have to communication and learn and support along the way of the course operation. And number, uh, standard number nine is learning assessment. And after that, uh, for us, I mean for the TCU, we have university have to make a evaluation and liberation report for us back to TCU. And it means that uh, this is a uh, 10 standard that we developed and implemented to the QA process of us. And uh, for the minimum or the basic um, standard, a QA standard, um, somehow maybe some country will be a bit different since uh, they start cost proposal and uh, 
about the, some details about the uh, copyrights and creative commons and some details about learner, learner support and learning assessment. But um, so some uh, after this, after we have um, have three modes already. I have um, develop. I have um, I mean study some our uh, standard and our KMOOC and but still have um, no details much about the JMOOC yet. But um, I don't think it's much. Um, maybe not more than this. It should be ab around this standards and some maybe cut out for the minimum one and. Um, some details like an uh, indicator in size, in some indicator in size, the, I'm sorry, um, um, I didn't bring the, the indicators on the PowerPoint, but some, like, this, this is a, um, our document that we hand to the, our developer. So um, the 28 indicator will be cut out some, somehow if the minimums show up after we develop some more um, research. Okay, this is so what I have done for all the our <laughs> situation right now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Pravinja. Uh, and also in, in your handout, you will uh, there, there, there is a one sheet that explains about the, the specification of the book course. Uh, that be defined in, in the Thai MOOC. Uh, you can you can enjoy study by yourself. Okay, and Doctor So, do you, you have anything to add in additional? <laughs> just to, uh, just one uh, comment added. I want added. Uh, Thai MOOC is actively involved in uh, drafting the. Uh, quality assurance guideline uh, that can be applied to the all the MOOC platforms in Asia Pacific and also a Europe a part of European countries so I I really expecting this, your contribution to the ASEM uh, MOOC initiatives thank you this is uh, another area of cooperation is is a MOOC provider is national MOOC. They have their own uh, quality assurance system. But when we share, when we exchange, when we uh, when we develop together, it will become a very uh, strong quality assurance system. And if we work together, it will become a very good uh, quality assurance and um, make this out to a good MOOC cost. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, let me ask the uh, Dr. Su about the uh, quality assurance uh, uh, between the uh, ASEM uh, groups. Uh, do you think the uh, some uh, uh, workshop or uh, working group regarding the uh, di discussion the uh, quality assurance in this uh, uh, initiative? Maybe I'm not sure, but. Uh, we will uh, organize uh, small working groups uh, on the each uh, components, I think. So in the ASEM Book Stakeholders uh, Forums, uh, the session will be consist of this kind of the working group session. So you can uh, participate in that group and also you can mm -hmm. contribute to develop between the quality assurance guideline, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll have the, uh, our quality assurance in Japan, JMOOC, and also uh, there are some, nice, some uh, uh, institutional person very much interested in this field. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to uh, 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 distribute this yeah. information to the other members' universities. Uh, as to the importance of quality assurance uh, guideline in Asia Pacific regions, I think uh, many Korean universities and uh, some universities in Japan and of course uh, universities in, in Thailand, they want to uh, 
upload their contents on other uh, countries' MOOC platforms. In order to upload their contents, I think we need this, this kind of like minimum or foundational uh, guidelines. Otherwise, uh, we cannot secure the quality. So MOOC. So the Thailand Th Thai MOOC is uh, they are playing very uh, important part of uh, our uh, expanding, uh, deepening the MOOC-based mobilities. I think, yeah. I I gave I I have given you very heavy burden <laughs> on your shoulder. Yes. And uh, uh, luckily, uh, the KMOOC we get some fund from the government. Uh, we will translate uh, our quality assurance guideline from Korean into English. This year, we get uh, ten thousand dollars. For it, so <laughs> uh, around uh, at the end of this year or, or around uh, September, you can get an uh, English version of uh, KMO quality assurance guidelines. So it will help a lot, I think. Yes. Thank you very much, Dr. So. Do uh, you have anything to add? No? Okay. <coughs> okay. So uh, this I this is a very brief session to let all of us know about the the his history and the progress of the collaboration, and also the important part is the guideline and quality excellence that we together. We will help to to make our MOOC course uh, as a quality MOOC course and make a quality education for 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 uh, learner too. Okay, uh, we still have some time left. I think if any uh, participant you have uh, comments or discussion or anything else, you can use this opportunity to to question or comment. Okay. okay. If uh, there are no more comments, uh, I think we you have uh, some more short break, short uh, break, refreshment break in the morning and then after this session we would like to learn from uh, Professor Timothy Thiel about the research, uh, uh, MOOC experience research. Okay, let me have a short break. Thank you very much.